we're getting our lives together today. This is as good a day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin This morning I so clear a light as any To see the horizon in the fog Excuses were two for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I feel the wind on my face Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's video. If you are new here, my name is Emma and I would love for you to subscribe. I am a new mama, I am a first grade teacher and I am vlogging my life, my journey and the realness of balancing both of those things and I would love for you to subscribe for all my future videos. I was thinking about what I wanted to film for this week's like Sunday video and everything just felt very fake, I guess is the word I'm looking for. It just felt very fabricated. I knew that if I just sat down and filmed a sit down video and was all happy and bubbly and giving you advice or I don't even know what I would have filmed, it just would not have been very honest. And so I decided to just vlog a one whole day in my life and just be very vulnerable and kind of try to get my life together a little bit because I have just been feeling very chaotic the last week or so. I haven't been sleeping super great. I just kind of lay there and think and think and think about things that I don't need to be thinking about. I feel like my mind is cluttered and I just need to kind of get out of this headspace, get out of this rut, I guess, and romanticize my day. That's kind of my plan. Like I just really want to declutter a couple things maybe, organize, or I really don't know what I have planned for the day, but I just need to do something. I was just listening to a podcast this morning from Michelle Reed. I talk about her all the time, but the podcast was literally how to get out of a rut, which I thought was very ironic because I feel like I am 100% in a rut. I will link it, but it's definitely inspiring a lot of the things that I'm doing today. We're getting our lives together today. So far this morning, I just filled up my fancy new Stanley with a bunch of ice water to make myself drink it. I have ran the dishwasher, emptied the dishwasher. On for our morning walk, I listened to a podcast on the walk. Jordan has also just been very cranky. I'm trying really hard not to let her mood dictate my mood, but that's hard. So, I think we need to get out of the house this afternoon. We need to go do something. I don't even know what. Um, maybe we'll just go to like some stores and walk around in the AC or something. I don't even know. We just, I think we're both just feeling a little bit cooped up and in a rut. But if you're feeling that way, then I encourage you to just do some small things to romanticize your day. Something that 
helps me when I am feeling in a rut, when I'm feeling sluggish or like I just need a pick, I don't know, you know, one of those days, one of those moods, I have to get myself ready. It doesn't mean like I have to wear a dress or like get super dressed up, but I have to wear something that's comfortable that I really love. This sweatshirt is my current favorite. I can link it for you, but just like feels like a hug. It's my favorite item of clothing that I wear right now. And then getting actually ready. So like doing my hair, doing my makeup. That's my first, I don't know if I want to say tip. I don't know if I'm really giving tips here, but is to get dressed get ready, have a routine. I kind of told you my morning routine this morning. The next thing is to get something accomplished, do something productive. You know that satisfying feeling when you write something on your to-do list that you've already done just so you get to cross it off? Do that and you'll feel so much better about the things that you accomplish, even if they're small things like how I emptied the dishwasher this morning. I can cross that off my list. I took a morning walk. I can cross that off my list. I got dressed and got ready. I'm gonna cross that off my list. I'm almost finished with this video and then I can cross that off my list. So just being productive and giving myself things that I can accomplish, that I can feel good about accomplishing. Another little random thing that I feel like really helps me is being creative, which I feel like editing definitely helps me with that creative outlet. I think filming really helps me with that. I saw a boost in my mood just since like starting filming this video this morning and trying to get like good shots. Like it's just a creative outlet for me and being creative significantly helps my mood. I was creating with my Cricut this weekend and I just made a little sweatshirt. Just doing something with my hands, creating something, brought me a lot of joy and so that's another thing to get you out of a rut is to find something creative or find something that you're good at and kind of hone into that. Another thing that's really been helping me get out of my rut lately is reading and just kind of getting lost in a book. I've been reading this summer. I read, I think, I don't know when I talked about it. It was a couple weeks back now. I read The Mother-in-Law by Sally Hepworth and y'all recommended The Good Sister, which is also by Sally Hepworth. I finished it last night and when I tell y'all that I just sat on this couch after I put Jordan down for bed, which was at 7 and read this book until I finished it at like nine. And it was so good. It was one of those books that like, not that it took me a while to get into because it was pretty interesting right away, but I could not predict the ending. Once they start to like slowly reveal little bits and pieces of information, you're hooked. So highly recommend this book. I figured we could talk about the books I'm planning on reading in case you need some ideas. I just feel like reading really helps when I'm feeling in a rut because it makes me feel good and it also makes me feel really accomplished when I finish a book. It's one of my favorite feelings ever is closing a book and knowing that I'm done with it. I finished and read the whole thing and it's just so satisfying. And again, it's like that list where I feel like I can cross something off. It feels really good. And you have to find the genre that you're really interested in. And my favorite kind of books, I'm just gonna be honest, are the stupid, cheesy romance books. I am a sucker for a good rom-com. This book is not that genre at all, and so I kind of like to go back and forth. This is my next read, it's The Marriage Game. I know not a single thing about it, but somebody did say that they liked it on my Instagram, so I'm excited. So that's my next read, and then I just picked up two Colleen Hoover books. I read a few of those last summer. I got Reminders of Him, which I've heard really good things about. And then I also got Ugly Love, which again, I've heard such good things about. They're both, I'm thinking, I'm assuming, they're both, you know, love story, romance, cheesy, my cup of tea. So that's on my to-do list today is to return this to the library now that I've finished it. It's just one of the most satisfying things, returning it and knowing I've read the whole thing. I love it. So that's on my list today and that is my next piece of advice for being in a rut. Okay, we're in the car now. Obviously, something else. <laughs> Is that funny? Um, something random that I realize I do a lot when I'm in a rut or I'm just having one of those days is I go and see somebody. I already kind of talked about like I get out of my house, I go, even if we're literally just going to walk around Target with nothing to buy. 
Y'all have probably seen that so much in my vlogs and you probably thought, Emma, you don't need to go to Target again. You're right, I don't. But it's good for us. It gets us out of the house. And something else I've really noticed is, I gotta start the car, hold on. It was getting hot. Something else that I do is I go and I see somebody, whether it is asking somebody, hey, could, do you want a Sonic drink I can drop by? Or stopping by to see my mom for 30 minutes and let her play with Jordan. Or like right now I am heading to my mother-in-law's because I need to pick up, um, yeah, is that funny? She's laughing at me. The pack and play we have at my mother-in-law's, like taking Jordan there, letting her see my mother-in-law and talking with them for a little bit. Getting outside of the house, but also having like a conversation with an adult rather than just my sweet babbling baby. It's good for me. It's good for her. Even if it's 10 minutes, it makes such a difference in our day or, you know, getting coffee with my best friend. Just doing things with adults makes a difference even if it's short that's my next tip for you is to go see somebody whether it's like planning a lunch date with a friend or literally just like stopping by to see your parents or your grandparents having some adult interaction whether you're a mom or not i feel like it's huge but especially being a mom and jordan's the only one i talk to i just think that unintentionally sometimes we kind of isolate ourselves when we're feeling this way i think just seeing somebody else helps take you out of the isolation that can sometimes make things worse if you know what I mean so hi I just needed to schedule my dog for her um, vaccines the last okay. the last name is Jen's it's J-O-E I'll take the 830 that would be great okay. yes. perfect thank you Thank you. It is a few hours later. We ran our errands. I knocked off some things from my to-do list, which again, just feels really nice. And now Jordan is taking her second nap of the day. And so I'm gonna spend this time cleaning up my space, just doing a really quick clean. And then when I'm feeling this way and feeling in a rut, I have to really listen to my body and what I need because sometimes I need to get my life together, organize, clean, um, run errands be busy and like feel productive and then sometimes I need to rest and my body just needs a day to sleep in take a nap read a book and in this certain scenario I'm finding a lot of joy while doing things so I know that's what I need but that's not always the case so I'm gonna do a quick clean and then I will chat with you after that you can I don't know if you're gonna be able to even see it I just kind of throw all the clothes that just don't fit her anymore and so I'm going to clear all of these out and kind of sort them by size and just put them in a Tupperware it's nothing crazy I don't even have to do anything crazy but I think it will just feel really good to have this space cleared you can't even fully see how far back it goes and how much is just thrown back there so that's what we're going to work on now. This is the pile that was back there, you guys. I am genuinely shocked. I had no idea that this much was back there. Like, there are so many clothes. So I'm going to sort by size, I guess. Even though it's all going in the same Tupperware, it probably doesn't really matter, but it'll make me feel a little bit better. Let's... Let's uh, 
get to work. And also it's making me sad because I've forgotten about a lot of these already. And like this one was one of my favorites. Oh, and this one with the dinosaurs, come on. quite as organized once it's all in the bin. And then I have a little corner for six to nine months, which I only have a couple things in because that's where she's at right now. This just feels so wonderful to have done. I can put it in the garage. And again, just picking something very simple and small to feel productive and feel like you accomplished something big. It took me 20 minutes and it's been like weighing on me for months. I've just been continuing obviously to just throw things in that corner. Guess what? I'm back 30 seconds later because now I'm feeling super motivated. I put all of her newborn stuff in these two vacuum seal bags and they're just thrown in my garage. It doesn't make a lot of sense and I feel like it makes more sense to use the leftover little corner for newborn clothes rather than six to nine. So then this whole tub, I can label zero to six month stuff for future babies. That just seems like it makes a lot of sense. It also seems like it would make me feel very satisfied and very fulfilled. So that's what we're gonna do now. And then I think I'll be done. Instagram earlier today what do you do when you need to reset or when you're feeling just in a rut or in a slump and I just thought it would be fun to share your guys's submissions and share what you guys like to do when you're feeling in a rut and that way if the things that I shared today aren't really your jam or you don't feel like they would necessarily help you because everybody's different and so maybe if this video didn't give you any ideas these submissions hopefully will so going for a walk surrounding myself with people who care about me i'm an introvert so it's hard but i need it set little goals write a to-do list put on some worship music um clean find one positive thing to be thankful for each day cook or bake get outside whether it's a drive or a walk have a deep reset day. So full shower routine, clean everything, organize. Oh, I love this idea. Take myself on a whole day date. So get your favorite drink, favorite snack, take yourself out to lunch, work out, retail therapy, same. Set realistic goals and expectations for something I can achieve right now. Journaling about how you're feeling. Make future plans that get you excited. Love that. Go thrift shopping, put on a cute outfit, get ready, move the furniture around. Yep, that's me. I, okay, I love these. So I feel like I kind of did a little bit of all of that. I feel like all of those tied in so well with all the things that I did today. So I'm glad to know that we all kind of like to do similar things when we're feeling in a rut. But if you are feeling in a rut, just know there were also so many people that said, please share, I am feeling this way right now or feeling stuck in this and it's very, very normal. And I would love to hear, even if it's already been shared, what do you personally like to do when you're in a rut? I think even just filming this video, it was good for me to acknowledge the things that I do that I didn't even really think about beforehand that helped me feel productive and helped me kind of get back on track and feel less sluggish. Um, and I think that will be helpful in the future for me to have kind of a running list of things I know I can do. So if you're feeling in a rut or stuck, just know that you're not alone. It's very normal and it's also very temporary. So do something for yourself today. Do something to help you feel a little bit better and find a little bit of joy in your day. Thank you so much for watching this video and for being here and for supporting me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye friends.